Welcome back to Mike's Kitchen Chats. It's a little hokey, but we're in the kitchen. We're working from home like just about everybody, it seems like, in America, except for, of course, our, our people on the front lines. And one of the, the, the great partnerships we've had over the years uh, is no, Noble Gold. And uh, real, real pleased to welcome to one of these great conversations the president and CEO of Noble Gold, Colin Plume. Uh, Colin's uh, been looking after his wealth uh, for his clients and advising them on strategy and how to manage their assets for for many, many years. And Noble uh, Noble Gold has been one of these great, great partners of ours. It's kind of neat to talk to the president and CEO during uh, the challenging times we face because a lot of people are taking a hard look at their finances, at their assets, at their bank account, at precious metals. Colin, it's great visiting with you here in my kitchen. How you doing? Mike, uh, thanks for having me. I, first, I want to comment: beautiful, clean kitchen. My, uh, <laughs> uh, my, me and my wife would be. We're that's like you could eat off pretty much any surface there. And I, I, I love, I love what you got going on in the background there. Um, this Colin, is fun. This everybody is has pulled. Everybody has teased me about this kitchen because, of course, it's never used to cook. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm not. Sh- I'm not sure I know how to turn the stove on, but uh, but the counters do hold a lot of t- carry out and take out meals, you know. So, uh, but thank, yeah. but thank all you. All I can see, I, I got sharp, I see sharp knives and salt and pepper. That's you know pretty <laughs> much all. You got a steak, you, you know, you got some salt on it. You're pretty much no good kidding. to go. <laughs> good to go. Well, this is the new normal we're in, Colin, and everybody uh, it feels like is home and doing their best. And those who are or who are lucky enough, who are blessed enough to be able to con- have a job and work yeah. from home many people uh, are, tr- are 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 afraid they're they're they have great trepidation they're looking at their bank accounts like i said i want to talk about gold and silver and precious metals because it seems to me that this is a pretty um astounding time to do a reset a lot of people talk about reset resetting the way we live our lives the new normal talk a little bit about some of the misconceptions about people who about owning gold and silver and precious metals? Well, I think the first thing is a lot of people think you need to have a lot of money to, to own gold and silver. Um, but we, I mean, we deal with from janitors to CEOs uh, to everything in between. Uh, most people today have a, a retirement account with an employer or some kind of IRA, and they may or may not be aware that you can put that with physical gold and silver. We don't do any ETFs, we don't do any leverage accounts. It's actual gold that you own. It's not a fund, which I think people like. Um, they like the control aspect of, of what they're able to do with us. So I think the biggest misconception is, is that you need to have a lot of money to, to be able to get into this. Well, and, and you know, I've made a promise. I'm not looking at my 401k. I just refuse to do it. Uh, you know, if you do, you're going to just be really down. I was just talking to a friend of mine yesterday whose wife has been, or no, it was his mother getting very upset about looking at her 401k. And he's saying, yeah. mother, you got to know, you got to understand it's on paper. You know, only if you sell it now, is it as bad as it looks? You know, you hope it's going to come back. It's a different ball game with precious metals, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that and, and, I, and I think a lot of people are upset looking at their accounts right now. And, and I think it's hard to remember that we've had phenomenal gains um, over the last you know, two to three years, especially uh, really high growth since President Trump's been in office. But, uh, but overall, I, I think timing is so important when you're looking at a retirement account and, and your finances. And I think that if you look at history, when you have a, a situation that we have right now where the government is going to stimulate, there's no doubt, no one can argue this, we're going to see unprecedented stimulation for the economy. The Fed's going to do everything. The government's going to do everything. So our dollar is going to lose a lot of value. It, it, there, there's no two ways about it. The 10-year treasury is down over 60% over the last 12 months. So all of these sort of traditional safe haven investments that people look at are, are out the window. And now people are looking at hard assets uh, like gold and silver as, as a great alternative. And, you know, we're not saying that you should put everything, all your eggs in one basket. Actually, to the contrary, I'm just saying it's time to recalibrate, just like everyone's recalibrating their life right now. It's time to do a little recalibration of your investment portfolio and take a hard look at, at gold and silver right now. 
And and I always appreciate your Noble Gold's continual reassurance about a balance. That's important because I think people are finding out that having all your eggs in one basket, not such a good idea. Yeah, and, and, and I think the good thing, the one positive about the unemployment situation is that when you are when you finally become unemployed, you have control of that 401k. So I think the only silver lining for people that have been calling us is that they've wanted to move out of the funds in their 401k into new things and try new investments, alternative investments like gold and silver, maybe cryptocurrencies, which we also do. But now they have the access to to do that. They can move into a self-directed IRA and they can move into any asset class they want. They can buy physical gold. They can buy they can buy Tesla stock or Google or whatever. If they, you know, the, once you move out of that 401k, you have that that control again, which I think is really important. People want to take control of their finances right now and 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 steer the ship in the direction that they want to go into. So we've been very busy. Um, our our last month to this month up Noble Gold sales up almost forty percent. We've had to increase wow. staff by over twenty percent, which has been a real challenge because we are. 95% of our staff is working remotely, but we've we've been able to do it. And our team has really just expanded our hours. We went from a normal workday, we added two hours every day to be available for phone calls, and now we're open almost a full day on Saturday to just uh, accommodate the, the demand. And we want to be available to, for people that have questions. We're a US-based company, so we want people to be able to call in. And we've, we've expanded our hours, and everyone's working really hard to, uh, to make sure we're available. You know, when you talk about the the uh, the response you're getting and uh, and the increased uh, business, it doesn't surprise me. You know, when I first started learning about precious metals from you guys, I I learned about sort of the 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 lump of metal. It's an actual thing. It's a tangible thing. And you know, right. the, again, when you look at your your uh, your the stocks and you look at your pay, uh, what's on paper. Precious metals is a whole different ball game. I mean, and it's fair to say that precious metals holds the value of your money, regardless of what happens in the world. Yeah. I mean, if you look at, if you go back a hundred years and we used to use gold, let's say gold in, in circulation to buy goods. So you, let's say you go back to 1920, you had a gold piece, a $20 gold piece, that $20 gold piece, you could take your wife out to dinner. You could have bought groceries and you could have done a number of other things with that $20 gold piece. And you'd have some money left over with that 20 bucks, uh, that $20 gold piece. That $20 gold piece today, you could buy a few suits. You could take, you could go on a, probably a little trip. You could buy groceries. So the buying power of that gold over the last hundred years has grown, especially compared to the dollar, especially compared to other assets. And, and I think that's something to keep in mind because a lot of times people say, well, the reason I don't like gold, it doesn't pay a dividend. But if you look at, over the last 12 months, gold's up almost 30%. Most dividend stocks are paying two to 3%, the good ones, the steady ones, you know, maybe you're gonna get one that's six or 7%. So regardless of a dividend, if, if you're making a 30% gain over the last 12 months, it, it's, it's far surpassed uh, a traditional dividend uh, return. So I think we're, we're in the midst, just we're just at the beginning of this bull run in, in precious metals with gold. And I, and I mean, I don't know if you saw what Bank of America came out. They, they believe gold's going to hit $3,000 an ounce in the next 18 months. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that why would a bank uh, even recommend gold? They have no interest in gold, frankly. Right, right, right. You know, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's powerful. Colin Plume uh, is, is the president and CEO of Noble Gold, part of our Mike's Kitchen Chat series where we're talking uh, with, uh, with many of our partners uh, and and uh, companies that are really making a difference in people's lives. Colin, we've become obsessed with data. You know, we're looking at the curve of, of coronavirus yeah. and trying to study data and look at history too, because we really don't have anything to compare this to. But we have had big crashes, 1929, even 2008. Can can you kind of can you kind of walk us through um, what precious how precious metals performed? Uh, during the times that that we've had great economic crisis in America, yeah, I mean, and I'll go even more recently. I mean, you look at um, you know 2008, gold and silver had a temporary pullback um, because what happens initially when there's a um, when we move into a bear market is everybody sells their assets and they go into the dollar initially, 
So the dollar gets strong for a very short amount of time. And this happened in 2008. And then eventually the dollar deflates because the government does all the stimulus. And, and in 2008, they did quantitative easing phase one, phase two, and phase three, which is basically they're buying back bonds to expand the money supply, which is exactly what's happening right now. That's the exact same thing. Plus, in addition to that, you have all that other government stimulus that's happening um, from the federal government to, to get people money quicker. Um, so you have a lot of this stimulus. And you know, really the only reason the U.S. can get away with the stimulus is because we are the world's reserve currency. That's why we have been able to rack up $23 trillion in debt. It's, it's unprecedented, the debt that we've racked up. Nobody has, we, we have more debt than the next three countries combined in terms of just national debt. So when you look at the big picture of, of what's happening right now is that you have this expanded money supply, you have the dollars gonna obviously devalue, and people are looking at investments to go into. So they're saying, hey, I'm, I'm getting out of the stock market with some of it. Do I go into bonds? No, the treasury bonds way down. I'm not going to get into that. Oil is at zero. I'm, I'm not going to. So a lot of these things that people would typically invest into, they're just not uh, viable options right now. And so that's why a lot of people are looking at gold as, as a really uh, strong asset. And I think the scary thing of where the price can go, and I guess it's a real positive if you own gold or buying gold, is that mining of gold has been down dramatically over the last 10 years. Mining has stopped over the last two months. And a lot of the mints have been closed. I mean, the U.S. Mint closed for about two weeks. Uh, the Royal Canadian Mint, which is the second biggest supplier of, of coins and bars in the U.S., has been shut for two months. And many of the uh, mints all over the world are running at 20 or 30 percent capacity. So everybody is trying to get their hands on gold right now. It's really hard to get it. Um, we do have access to it. We are getting it. We bought a lot really early on this year because we sort of anticipated a black swan event. We didn't know about Corona, but we were we were anticipating something, and um, and so we were prepared for this. But it's it's hard to get. It's much more difficult to get metal today than than it's been in, in years past. Well, when people are ready to do that, I I know a guy. I know a company, NobleGoldInvestments.com. Uh, you guys have been on the cutting edge for years, and I'm I'm I want you to know how enormously grateful I am for your partnership, for your support of Team Gallagher, and for your clarity. I mean, this has been a great conversation, and I truly uh, hope people will, will reach out to you guys. NobleGoldInvestments.com, uh, a, a terrific company, and uh, you can tell from, from Colin's expertise, they know exactly what they're doing, and now could very well be the time for you to reach out. NobleGoldInvestments.com, NobleGoldInvestments.com, or you call them toll-free, 877-646-5347, 877 646 47 or noblegoldinvestments.com. Uh, Colin, great chatting with you. I'll continue to keep my kitchen clean with no food on, no no cooking. And uh, don't cook any food, don't cook any food. God, don't do it. Don't. No, don't I can't. Do I can't. I can't. Just listen. I pop the fr I prop the prepackaged food in the microwave, and I'm good to go. And I have figured out how to work the microwave. Only thing in the kitchen that works. The other thing I know works is Noble Gold, and I'm really glad to visit with you here in our kitchen. All the best, Colin. Keep fighting the good right. fight. You too. Thanks, Mike. Talk to you soon. Take care.